Hey guys, what's going on dudes? It is David here and we are back with another video. Now in this video guys, we're going to be talking about my team, that is the Atlanta Falcons. Now the reason why we're going to be talking about the Atlanta Falcons in this video is basically a couple of, a couple of months ago I talked about a video saying that we don't really need to draft the Matt Ryan's replacement until like two to three years ago. But then I started thinking about the quarterbacks that are going to be going into the 2021 draft next year. Now, unless some of these quarterbacks have an absolutely amazing season, then my mind might change. <laughs> because this, this specific quarterback that I'm going to be talking about today, he happens to be, right now, I'd probably say a second or third round pick. Before before the college football season last season, he, bro, he was he was probably like he was probably like a six or seven rounder. He wasn't even starting quarterback. He got the starting quarterback job when the start when the previous starting quarterback got injured, who is now playing for Arkansas in the same conference as them, and that is the SEC. Now the quarterback we're going to be talking about today is going to be Kyle Trask. If you guys know him, he is the quarterback current quarterback of the Florida Gators. Who's going to who's going to be who's going to be looking really really good hopefully this season? I mean that Florida Gators team, we we right, since since we hired the coach that we have now, we have been slowly improving. I think most of the seasons we've had at least two to three losses and possibly a fourth in his first season, but it seems like that that's that's around the the way the that's around the amount of losses that we seem to have. And when it comes to the team that we lose, it's mostly two of the teams I, I would expect us to lose to. Georgia, I feel like Georgia's a better team than us. LSU, LSU was a better team this past season. And then, there, of course, there's a couple of seasons where we do have to play Alabama, and Alabama's 100% a better team than Florida currently. But who's to say Florida can't get on Alabama's level and compete for that national championship? Do I think it's going to happen? You guys are going to have to find out in another video when I talk about the Florida Gators season predictions. Because the, the college football schedule hasn't even come out, we don't really even know if college football is going to be happening this year. So, I can't really say anything about that, but if college football does happen, and Kyle Trask has an amazing season, Kyle Trask can possibly become a late first-round pick. But what I, I even though I love Kyle Trask, I really hope he stays at a second and third-round pick, because that means he'll be right in the area for the Falcons to draft him. Imagine, 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 well, Dan Quinn is actually, he loves Florida players. That's why he has Dante Fowler Jr. there. He has Keanu O'Neal. He has a couple other Florida players there. What, what, what would you say if Dan Quinn, actually, let's say the Falcons do, do have a good season and Dan Quinn stays as the Falcon as coach and he drafts a Florida player? The last time Dan, oh, wait, has Dan Quinn drafted a Florida player since he's been at Atlanta? I have no idea. I really don't know if he's if he's drafted a Florida player since he's been at Atlanta, but this would be the perfect opportunity for him to draft a Florida player, and this way we don't have to spend any money in the in the free agency period or trade for a quarterback because that's going to cost us something. And I don't really want us trading quarterback. I want us to draft the quarterback. Now, if it's not if we don't eventually get Kyle, Tra if we don't get Kyle Trask, I'll still be happy because we're gonna have Matt Ryan for at least two to three more seasons. Matt Ryan's still gonna be a good NFL quarterback for at least two to three more seasons. But if we possibly can draft Kyle Trask, who had who who had a decent season after coming after coming off the bench after um Felipe Franks got injured for us. And basically, almost if if we hadn't lost against like teams like LSU and Georgia, we would have been in the we would have been SEC final. Um, sorry, we would have been the SEC national championship game and probably lost against LSU. But it would it would have been a very very good season because Florida Florida just seems to be like that one step away from being in in that final four and being in in the SEC championship game. Now a couple of years ago. It seems like the when it comes to the team that Florida has to really deal with when it comes to their uh, conference, I mean their division, which is the Eastern Division, they have to deal with Georgia. Georgia is really their biggest biggest competition when it comes to that team. And then you got the other division, which at Alabama's in, LSU's in, Auburn's in, and you see that conference, you see that part of the division, and you're just like, if we have to play any of those teams, I probably want to play Auburn, but. Florida playing Alabama the last few years. Alabama probably wiped the floor with us. 
LSU this past season, we actually had a very, very good game against LSU. I think we actually beat Georgia this past season. So, or or Georgia barely beat us. But I know both games were a really, really good game for us. And Kyle Trask was the quarterback in them. And now that Kyle Trask has been in technically a year in that, um, Dan, is it Dan Mullins? Dan Mullins' offense? I think it's Dan Mullins. I probably, I'll probably have the name of the court. Of the coach right here, if it, if it's not if it's not Dan Mullen, but now that he's been in a year of you know like uh, the Dan Mullen's quarterback system and the the offensive system for the Florida Gators, I feel like this is going to be next year is going to be a perfect season that he's definitely going to improve in his final year as a Florida quarterback. And then we have Emory Jones who can who's going to probably come off and you know like replace him after in the coming into the 2021 2022 season. So I'll be excited for that. We still have some decent wide receivers. I mean, we did lose Ty Tyree Cleveland, but we still got Tony there. We still got a decent amount. Of, we still got good running backs there. We still got still offensive line, defensive guys. We lost C.J. Henderson. That's gonna be a big loss for us. But we got guys to replace him. But yeah, and when it comes to the running game, like I said before, we have um, Lemisio Le Perrin at running back, but we got a whole bunch of good young running backs that are ready to take his place. So it's basically going to be a it's going to be it's going to be a very good season no matter what for Florida because when Alabama loses some big players they always have new players to come in that play well for them. It's just because they they do the system well and that team is build the system well. That Florida defense is gonna have a decent amount of players going next year. I feel like um, we're gonna have some cornerbacks going very early next year. They perform well like C J Henderson did. C J Henderson did. I'm pretty sure if C J Henderson had a better season this past season at Florida, he would have went in the top ten instead of going. I think he went to number ten at ja number nine at Jacksonville. Yeah, but I actually wanted him to go to um, the Atlanta Falcons. But when it comes to when it comes to the Atlanta Falcons next year in 2021, if if um, what's his name has an average season and he's ready there for in the second or third round. I do actually really, really hope that the Atlanta Falcons do actually select Kyle Trask. That way Kyle Trask can learn from a good quarterback like Matt Ryan. He can be in Dan Quinn's system, and Dan Quinn loves his Florida players. So that's going to be a very, very good thing to hear. He's going to have some other Florida players there to, that you know, like to talk about and learn from. He's going to have some offensive captains there. He's going to have a young wide receiver. Matt Ryan does retire, technically, and Calvin Ridley, who could become his number one wide receiver, while Julio Jones is still going to be there. But eventually, we'll move on, and Calvin Ridley will probably become our number one wide receiver if he stays at the Atlanta Falcons, which I actually hope he, do, hope he does. But, yeah, when it comes to next year, 2021, it's going to be a very, very interesting season, like I said before, because we don't really know if the college football season is going to begin. We don't really know if we're going to have college football because they may not have fans, and college football without fans is going to look is going to look very, very weird. Sorry about that. Um, but, yeah, um, I hope the Falcons really do draft Kyle Trask because I would love to have a Florida – I would love to just have a Florida quarterback – Backing up my already favorite quarterback Matt Ryan, and into the tw into the what 2023 2024 season, he could take over for Matt Ryan when Matt Ryan's getting ready to retire, and hopefully by then, who knows what could happen because that's that's another two to three years down the line, but we'll we'll see what happens because any can anything can happen. Matt Ryan could retire within two years. Kyle Trask could be the Florida quarterback coming into next season. We have no idea yet. But anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please do smash the like button. But anyway, guys, I'll see you guys all later. Peace.